Hey guys, it's Jay here. Today's date is the 2nd of June 2015. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've updated last, just due to a few things going on, mainly not having the time to make a video. Um, so, yeah, eight weeks on tea. Um, I did notice, I think a couple of weeks ago, my hairline is starting to shift a little bit. So up around here, it's starting to fine out. You can't really see it at the moment, but around here, I'm starting to recede. So my hairline used to be just quite straight down, but now it's starting to get that, you can see it more on this side, that more defined jagged line that men carry. Um, hair growth. It's growing because obviously I don't shave anymore, so hair everywhere. Um, a voice isn't really changing that much. Well, I don't feel like it is. Um, it's frustrating because, you know, by now you're hoping that you're standing a bit deeper than what you did when you were pre-T, but I suppose patience is the aim of this game. Anyway, um, I had an interesting experience today I want to share. I started my new job at the tomato. I oh, sorry, at the mushroom farm today. Um, really good, by the way. It's pretty exciting. Nice and cruisy. Um, no stress involved, so that's nice. But I had to go to the bathroom, and this is always awkward for me in new areas because I don't know if I pass as mail yet. Because sometimes I go out and I get passed as mail, and then other days I go out and it's I'm a chick, and everyone can tell. Um, so I went to go to the bathroom and unfortunately I have my man period. Yes, you still have your cycle, six we uh, eight weeks on tea. Um, which is never great for your dysphoria on any level. So I had to use the women's toilets for obvious reasons to get changed. Um, and I walked in there and there was a cleaner in there and he said to me, oh, sorry, mate, my old toilets are the next block around. And I was like, oh, Fuck, you know, stoked. I passed as male, but sorry, I had to tell him I was a female because I had to get changed, and you can't really do that in a male's toilet. It can be quite awkward if another man does walk in and you're trying to change your liner or your tampon or whatever that you guys use. So it was really awkward, and it um, it really put my headspace in a weird position for a couple of minutes, but then. I thought to myself, just let it go. He was cool with it. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I had to say I was female. And it did leave me uncomfortable. But, you know, what are you supposed to do in that situation? If you guys have any idea, that would be awesome. Because it really kind of screwed my headspace up. But it is what it is. And it happens. So I'm going to let it go. Anyway, I'm going to talk today about Packers. I'm getting so many questions about the Peacock on... Um, FTM Australia on Facebook like I know a lot of guys just um, start to look at packers soft packers and hard packers and the difference and harnesses and all that stuff that you need so I'm going to touch base on it um, but before I do I forget one thing that involves packers two seconds Sorry, but this is important as far as packers go. So, um, I have two packers. I started packing probably about a year ago before I even really came out as transgender. My partner kind of had put things together and she took me shopping and I came out with a packer. Now, my first packer is a soft packer. Um, this packer is great for like just around the house or if you're going to the supermarket to get some groceries and um, you know, you've got that void down there that you need to fill and you don't always want to be using a peacock because they can be a little bit awkward to handle and sometimes you know you're not going to use the bathroom. You just want to have a penis for a few hours while you're going out to do the grocery shop. Anyway, I have a lot of friends that are following my um, YouTube updates and I know you all love me and you love how great and open I am, but this is going to be open. I'm going to show you my plastic so-called penises. So if you don't like it, stop watching now. But for everybody else, here you go. Anyway, <laughs> a soft packer is what it looks like. Yeah? Look at that. It's even got the head. It's got the veins underneath. And it just sits flush. Now, it's not hollow on the back. It's just 
a full flush. So when you're in, obviously, that's your little female part that you don't want to address anymore. It just sits flat like that <laughs> in your jocks. Um, the good thing about this is that it is soft and it does move and it, it does feel real like when I wear it and, you know, my partner's been cheeky, she'll go for a grab and it's like you actually have a penis. You can actually feel a little bit of movement when someone is touching this or when you're walking you can feel it and, you know, um, I love it. It's great. Um, some days even around the house when my dysphoria is bad, I'll just have it down my jocks because it makes me feel better about myself. So I love it. Now I paid $35 I think or $37 for this from a sex shop called Device. Um, you can buy a lot of stuff online but I do find when it comes to packing you kind of want to know what you're buying and how it feels because it's your penis and it's in your pants and you want to be confident. So yeah. Soft packer. I know they are also called Mr. Limpies. Um, I don't know much about Mr. Limpy. This is just called a soft packer from device. Uh, it's a 5.5 inch. It packs perfectly for me because I'm only 5.4 foot or something like that, 165 centimeters. So that for me, that is perfect. It does sit in my jocks ideally. Um, if you're wearing boy briefs, I think sometimes you have to wear two pairs of jocks because it can move around a bit. So if you give me one more second to show you one more thing to do with the soft packer. I should have organised this a lot better. Sorry, I just got home from work and my roommate's not home, my girlfriend's at work, so I was like, ah, I've got some privacy, make a video quick. Anyway, so <laughs> these little shorts, and I say little, right? This is them. I got them off eBay for $3 a pair. Now, what I like about these is that they have a pouch. See that? Little bit there. I don't know if you can really see it, that bit there. Yeah. Now, when I wear these, I feel like a male stripper because I'm guessing this is what they wear. So the packer just sits in that little pouch like that perfectly. And it just sits like that. It doesn't move. I wore them yesterday and it didn't move. So I got these off eBay with $3 a pair. Just type in something like um, men's jocks and have a flick through and you'll find these. They are called... Wang Jang, <laughs> W-A-N-G-J-I-A-N-G, -G. Wang Jang. Well, if that doesn't make you feel like a male stripper, what does? Anyway, that's the soft packer. It is awesome. This one is the Peacock Jean 2 5.5 inch. Um, it is a lot more solid than the soft packer. Um, it does sit differently in your pants. The soft packer does flop and it does sit more naturally where the peacock is a bit more firm, so therefore it doesn't move with you like the softy. So this is the peacock, Jean 2, 5.5 inch. This is great. I use this when I'm going out on the piss with my mates or I'm going out for a long day with my girlfriend and I know I'm going to want to use the male toilets. <clears throat> so it is hollow. There you go. The little thing there. <laughs> that's where the pee comes out of <laughs> so I'm getting a lot of questions about this how to use it is a big question there are heaps of videos on YouTube if you type in peacock gene 2 how to use it there's heaps of guys making videos about it um, there is a key to this right so when you're wearing it right it's gonna sit like that right in your vagina just like that and that's how it's gonna sit now it's actually gonna sit lower so you pretty much want this part here touching your a-hole. I know it's gross, but that's what it is. That has to pretty much be touching your a-hole. And then when it comes to pee and go to the toilet, you're going to have to cup it. like So you're going to... This is hard to show. You're going to push up on your balls like that so the pee flows forward. Because when you're standing, you stand like that. So you're kind of cupping it and you're just going to be pushing it. I could stand up and show you. That's going to be weird. I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... 
It's just like that, yeah? Just sitting on you like that. And then when you go to use it, you're just going to push it up like that. And it will flow more easier. Graphic enough for you, mate. <laughs> um, but this is awesome. You have to make sure you clean your products. It is vital when you think about it because this is a pack and play, three in one. So this also means I can have sex with it. Um, the pleasure rod goes inside this. I'm not going to push it in there because I've got no lube and I don't want to break my cock. So it does go all the way in and it sits erect. Now, I love this thing when it comes to sex. It's the bomb. Um, the pleasure rod is amazing. So it's curved like that. That sits pretty much on my clit. And when you're going for it, it feels like you have a penis. It makes you come again and again and again. It is the best thing ever. Every man needs one of these. That is trans. Because you want to know what it feels like to fuck a chick with a cock? This is your answer. Lubricant is a must. Lube on rod into the cock and then a little bit on the outside for your partner so you don't tear her apart and you're ready to go. Um, with the peacock, you need to buy the harness that goes with it. Um, otherwise, you can't wear it. It needs something to strap to you, obviously, because you are peeing through it, so you need something that's going to hold it. So you got your jocks. See these? A little bit sexy, aren't they? There you go. Ooh. So obviously, the peacock goes through the hole. It's really easy and it's so comfortable. You can't tell that you're wearing it. So, you know, because when I first started wearing it, I was like, ah, shit, you're going to be able to see. It's going to look like I've got a G-banger on underneath my shorts and shit, but it's not because you wear jocks over it too. So it just slips into the hole like that, see? And the ball bit goes in the sack right there. So it all sits flush against you. Sorry, I can't hold it the other hand, but that's how I have to hold it. Um, so it just sits flush against you like that. So that's around your waist. Come here. Yep, and that's the front of you, and it's easy to use. Now, to go, you get all this on Peacock website. Um, yeah, peacock.com.au. Um, and then you need these. These boxes are specially designed for the Peacock and the harness. Um, I have used my normal jocks. Um, with the peacock and the harness and I have to say every time I use it without these I have leakage problems um, if you're using the correct briefs and the harness and the technique of kind of cupping your balls when you're pissing you're not going to have any leakage it seems to be a big thing that people are asking me like when you pee is it going everywhere no it's not I totally suggest at first you use it around the house for a week like I did practice at home, have a couple of beers, get on the piss one night at home and use it when you're pissed because majority of the time when I'm out drinking, that's when I'm using it because I'm busting and I don't want to go to the girls' toilet. So it's very important to know how to pee through your cock when you're busting without getting a load of your shoes. Um, and so make sure cleaning it, again, big, 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 big thing. You have to remember that when you're having sex with this, this is going inside your partner. So any fluid that may be stuck in your peacock is going to enter them and you don't want them getting any type of infections or anything like that because you're too lazy to clean your fucking penis. So, so all I do is like lukewarm hot water and I just cup it so the nozzle there is like, you know, blocked and I put soap in there. <laughs> put your fingers in there and you just like, like a hand drop. You just give it a good clean, like get all the soap in there, get it right in there, give it a good clean, and then I usually like rinse it all off. I just use antibacterial soap, like a hand soap. Any soap will do, but I like the pump action because it fills into the funnel and I can give it a good clean. Um, and then I just let it, I put, fold it up in a towel and let it dry. And then when it's dry, you have to use corn flour. Oh, that was the lube. Corn flour. It's upside down because I've opened it upside down. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Coles, home brand, fucking corn flour. Now, the reason you have to do this because it is silicon and your soft packer is all down your pants. It's going to collect dust and it's going to collect um, fluff or anything like that. So the corn flour helps things stop sticking to it 
and it also gives it a more realistic look so it takes off that shine that slick and can hold so it does give it a more of a natural look so I usually just get the brush my partner is awesome she gave me one of her makeup brushes which is the best I think you can get from Priceline for two dollars I don't know anyway so you just like see just put the powder on it like that I'm making a mess with my clothes it doesn't matter just put some powder on it <laughs> all around like everywhere because if you don't it will split and like this is not cheap so the peacock for harness and the jocks with the pleasure kit, which is the rod and the free com dom, cost me about 250 bucks. So, and then you just rub it in like that again, and then it's ready to go. I mean, okay, you don't want white flowers, so be a bit more careful. Like, I'm just doing a rush job because the video is getting long. Um, but yeah, you just rub it all in like that, and then there's your peacock. Now, do that with any kind of um, cock thing that you use because you don't want it drying out, you do not want it snapping. I have seen. Guys that don't look after their peacocks, they tear under here um, because obviously when you're having sex of the motion of it and um, yes, you can give yourself hand jobs with these if you really want to give it a go. Like I said to my mate, this is a graphic video. Um, it does work if you want to know what it's like to have a wank. So there you go. Um, I really don't have anything else to say, but I'm sorry if there was too much information in here for some people. But um, being transgender, there's lots of things going on with our bodies and there's a lot of things that other trans men don't know about. So I'm hoping that this video has been able to help you on some level when it comes to Packers. So the Peacock 5.5 inch is perfect for me. You can get smaller 4.4, but it's not much length to it. And I find the 6 point, I think six, just 6 inch is quite large, but if you're a taller man and you're bigger built then it might be good for you but go on to um, peacock p e e c o c k dot com dot au and they have packers binders um everything have a look guys it's worth it um and you can buy other one other soft packs because mr limpy but i've heard really shitty reviews about mr limpy um go to device and have a look around um any questions or any feedback to help me make my videos better would be very much appreciated. I'm new to all of this. Um, all right, guys. Well, my voice is starting to roller coaster a little bit. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching. Bye.